1953, in fact, the CIA secretly sponsored its first full-scale coup in Iran. And as a result, the USA kept control of one of the largest oil producers in the world. Iran was important for two reasons. It had oil and it had a thousand mile border with the Soviet Union, now Russia. The CIA wanted access to the border so they could spy on the Soviets and they could put their missiles there. The British, who were deeply involved in this uh, intelligence coup in Iran, we wanted access to Iranian oil. So uh, between us, we quite deliberately and viciously overthrew the Prime Minister Mr. Mossadegh. In 1951, Prime Minister Mossadegh became Iran's first democratically elected leader. His first act in power was to nationalize Iran's oil industry, and his second was to begin talks with Iran's Soviet neighbors. Talking to the Soviets and taking back the oil industry might have been popular with the Iranians, but it certainly wasn't popular with the CIA. What the British and the Americans managed to get terribly wrong was that they thought that Mossadegh was a communist. And that's why they were so fearful about him. They thought that somebody else could come in through the back door into Iran and take over. Today, the greatest threat to peace is the expansionist aims of the Kremlin. Freedom everywhere. Our freedom is in jeopardy. In April 1953, Alan Dulles, the CIA director, secretly set aside a million dollars to get rid of Mossadegh by any means possible. The CIA did what it's always done very well. It bought newspapers, it bought periodicals, it bought army officers, um, it bought intelligence. It just dished out a great deal of money. The CIA has never been short of money, and they spent millions of dollars in Iran to bring about a coup. They organized renter mobs to go through the street shouting against Mossadegh and so on. They pumped up the opposition, and together with the British, they made it work. Now it was the army and the royalists who had taken control, and an attack on Mossadegh's home was later followed by his arrest. Two weeks later, on the 19th of April 1953, Mohammed Mossadegh was overthrown by a mob paid by the CIA and loyal to the Shah. The CIA had successfully overthrown its first government. The Prime Minister was removed and replaced by the Shah of Iran, who ruled the country for the next 25 years. But unleashing the all-powerful Shah on the Iranian people had consequences the CIA had not even considered. After the coup, Iran became a kind of American base, and the Shah just became an American puppet. And all disaffection, all opposition, all nationalism, all neutralism was simply crushed. It's quite incredible. Almost a whole army dedicated to educating people. It's all very military, but it gets results. What actually happened at that, at that stage was that one motive force took over, and that force was Islam. People realized the power of the mosque. They re-realized the power of the mosque. And that's something that we're still trying to come to terms with in the West. 